Yeah, my pleasure. Thank, thank you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, she's down there in Palm Beach. Like, if they see a Jennifer or Kim in the state somewhere that need, they're, they're blown, they're doing well, but they're just not, you know, um, so this is, a, this is a second and a third, and we're starting to get more referrals. And, and basically what I'm seeing is it's, it's, it's highly successful people that have come to the, to the reality that they're spending the marketing already, they just need to spend it a little differently and spend it a little smarter and obviously use a little bit more of those funds away from print because in this luxury real estate market, they're, they're addicted to high-end print, like glossy print, international print pieces. And, mm -hmm. And you just shift that money, and it's thousands of dollars. I mean, thousands, you know. You shift that money to a digital platform, your own platform, and you connect the dots and things start going crazy. So, uh, word's starting to spread, and we're, we're gonna get after it. What a day, what a day. All right. We've got some fun things going on. So today, um, we're heading over to UCF um, campus, which is not far from here, because tonight it's the School of Business um, mentorship night. So I don't know all the specifics, but I know there's going to be the business school is going to have a bunch of uh, uh, students there who want some type of mentorship. And we're, we had to apply, uh, Victoria and I had to apply um, under our business name and what we do. And then they had to approve us. And then they, once they approve us, then we're going to do a speed dating with these students. And we're going to see if we can get matched up with a possible men, uh, mentor-mentee relationship. And we're real excited about it because we've got a lot of exciting announcements to make about your brand voice and our business. And as always, we're looking for young talent, but we're also looking to give back. So if we can, if we can mentor and, and, um, and share some of the things and lessons, lessons and um, skills that we've learned over the years... Um, with somebody that is looking to do what we do, then let's have fun and do it. So it's going to be a good night. Kransky, yeah. where are you? Here. Come here. The most important thing is to find somebody that I really connect with and uh, we can uh, mentor, mentee each other. And then the other thing is just talking to everybody a little bit, understanding what everybody's all about and explaining what I'm all about and seeing if maybe we can uh, create some synergy. And then it's been 16 years for me since I graduated. Probably what, 25 for you? I don't Something like do, that. I don't even want to do the math. But um, so it's great to finally give back, you know. And um, how are we going to give back, though? We're give going to give back because we're going to pick a mentee to take care of under our wing and help them. I mean, they're going to job shadow you. Uh, maybe just learn some things from you. Maybe if they have questions about, you know. What courses should I take? And okay. you know, somebody that's interested in your industry. You know, so you're not thing, you're thing, not gonna synergize with the guy that wants to do construction. You know what no, I mean? No, no. Well, it could be construction management with that's marketing. True. But <laughs> you never. Know. But what got me excited about this was when we listened to Gus Malzahn speak the other night, the, the head coach, the head football oh, yeah. coach. Um, you know, he did his X's and O's and stuff. But then afterwards, the AD came on, mm -hmm. and when the AD came in. He was just kind of doing his normal spiel, but then he got into the part where his, he started to get passionate, and it was, we're doing something that no other school's doing, and what that is is guaranteeing that student athletes right. get a chance to play or get, to, get, a, get a job after they graduate. So guaranteed. He said, no, yeah, guaranteed job after graduation. So, and then you had this mentorship on the business school side. Right. So anyway, this is a, this is a night that's going to business school mentorship, and then down the road, a athlete, student athlete mentorship. Yes. And... You ready? Yes. All right, let's do this. She taught me that last night. All right, <laughs> All right let's roll. In order for it to be reality, it's got to be reality, right? Right. Can't fake it.
So it's always fun to go back to UCF and uh, a place both Victoria and I graduated. And tonight we get to go to the, what is it, the business school? Mm -hmm. He's having a mentorship program tonight and we're gonna go and participate in that. And Let be, me read it. Be Let's active see. in our, in our uh, alumni capacity. Yeah, and our alma mater and really just support them anyway. And then if we can see an opportunity to help our businesses at the same time, then let's do it. Um, you know, there's a, when your brand voice started, you know, we, we fed off of young people being creative, looking for an opportunity. And that's really how we started. That was where our roots were. And, um, and it was so funny, I was explaining this, this program this, this, you know, to my dad one day, and he goes, it's a star program. And I was like, the star program? He's like, yeah, that's what McDonald's used to do. And I go, what is a star program? He goes, it's a social trending assessment rep. What? I never knew that, what? It was store, sorry, sorry. It was store trending assessment rep, and it was for McDonald's store operators. They assigned them marketing uh, managers like my father to give them a star score. So it's their store assessment score, ah, essentially. Mm -hmm. And so when he's telling me this story, I go, it's, we're the same damn thing, but instead of store, it's social. Oh. And so we, I never played, knew this. we, we played that star program, and, and then I created what was called the journey to a star. And a journey to a star, star was an internship that turned into a full-time job. Yes. Right? And so when you brought up this mentorship i just thought oh my god this is journey this is feeding journey to a star yeah um so I'm, so I'm excited to do it i'm excited to do it and then you know of course with the athletic program doing something similar and, and then guaranteeing the jobs i think that this is a match made in heaven yep win-win oh yeah Gonna be, it's gonna be a good night. What's your, what's your major, their specialty? I know they're in business, but what are you doing in business? Okay. What do you want to do? Okay. What experience do you have so far? What are you gonna do about it? Do you have any internships scheduled? If not, you should. What year are you? start out on that right foot of having goals and then a communication style. Um, that they are doing this, many of them, for class credit, that they will have to meet uh, three times. I need I need a pen to change that. I'm environmental banking. They're all gonna think I'm a banker. Thank you. Thank you. Doing, right? Good. So here we are. Check it out. Got my name. Got my name right there. We're good. Environmental mitigation, banking, land development. Okay. Perfect. All of it. Okay. Uh, senior. Do any of you have internships already under your belt? No. Okay, you need to do that. You should have to well, I'm, uh, I'm the number one prospect in Miami, and everybody wants me. Okay, why am I coming to you?
know that you know the new rule in the college app, college kids can make money. So you're recruiting for colleges. That's what you want to do, right? They implemented all the good stuff right after I graduated. That was fun. What do you think? I focused on the internship aspect, is really what I did, you know, because I think I had four or five. And I told them that it's the most valuable thing. Sometimes knowing what you hate is more valuable than knowing what you love. Okay, so now I get to pick my favorites. Why well, have to do 12? <laughs> you had a lot of people, didn't you? Okay, let's see. Who do I like the most? <laughs> Fun time, fun time. Got to meet with, what, six or seven uh, students, and it was interesting to see the different mindsets that they're in. You know, this is the first time a lot of them have been out. Um, and it's interesting, some are still, you know, trying to figure out what they do, you know? What their passion is, they don't even know. And some of them are just, just trying to figure it out. So I have to make sure that I, understand where they're at yes because you can't just pound on them but they've got to get this thing figured out you know this time's a ticket um so i think you know motivating them to, to have a little sense of urgency is one of the things i felt most but also met a young uh young man who his passion is digital marketing and he overheard me speaking about facebook ads and so he sat down and was, couldn't be more interested in everything I had to say. So, could be an opportunity. I put them number one on my on my list, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's show them our thing. No, here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> Hold it up. Good. Nice couple. What year are you? Oh, you're nice. She graduated from the School of Business, so she introduced, she was on this. It's a, it's actually a pretty cool deal to just kind of get their, to see into their mind, you know? And, because uh, a little younger that I deal with a lot of young, I'm, I'm a digital marketer, we do a lot of digital marketing and we have young, a lot of young people creating, there's one of my guys right there creating. But, and so you get a little look, but this is like a step before that look, right? It's the step before they come into the work. Like still trying to figure out what day it is. You know? <laughs> You know, they gotta get out of that and have a clue in school, because then they'll be, get more out of it. Are right, you ready to get moving? Yep. All right, we're gonna get moving. Well, that was fun, right? So much fun. So much fun? All right, so we have wrapping up an awesome evening. It was so much fun to get back on campus and engage with these students. Uh, so interesting to see the different mindsets of these young people as they venture into their lives. Uh, but I love this university, it's great to be here. Check it out. Yeah, baby. UCF, UCF.